So what were you saying before, Phil, about what <laughs> about the Sopranos? Oh, okay. I gotta set this up, I guess. Yeah. Um <laughs> so for the listeners, I was just like uh I think I was lamenting the loss of my beard because if people are not watching this episode, I am beardless. He's handsome. And, uh, he looks good without it. They're being so kind. It's it's not a, it's not the preferred look from what I would like, but I just needed to shave it and start over. And I was talking to them about it and I said, What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And we were kind of laughing. I think everybody said it. And I was like, yeah, that's like what Tony Soprano says every time. Like there's like a death, you know, he like sees somebody after the death. And <laughs> one of the first things they'll say, and when they're talking, what are you going to do? And Ashley and Matt are laughing like a lot. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So now <laughs> they, they, they said they would tell me here on the podcast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. We were going to, we, we hadn't recorded yet. So I needed, we needed a nice little setup here. But the, uh, the reason I was laughing so hard is because, uh, it's like a running joke. It started between me and my brother because um, so my mom died like six years ago. She got cancer. Can't, or she had cancer, went into remission, came back. And uh, it was really horrible. All that's like very horrible. Um, but, you know, like we were at her uh, wake at my aunt's place. And, you know, we had family there and stuff like that. And my one uncle, uh, super Italian, possibly my most Italian uncle. I have a bunch of Italian uncles, but he's the most racistly stereotypical italian uncle right he uh he had successfully not had to interact with my brother and i at all during the you know the funeral and all that kind of stuff you know like he had he had managed to like not and i, like I don't fault purpose? him for it at all like i'm not i'm not blaming him it just was funny that you know like i could tell he's not good with that kind of stuff and he didn't want to have to talk to us totally get it but it was funny because the way it worked out was like there was food outside and my, my brother and I had like were like outside on the patio and he accidentally he, I'm sure he would not have walked out there if he knew that just the two of us were out there but he like walks out he hasn't got a big old plate of food right he's got like sausages and mushrooms and all kinds of shit on there and he can tell he's like he's like he's like happy that he's gonna escape onto the porch where he can feast you know on the on all the stuff and he looks out he stops and he looks at us and I, you could just see the like, fuck, <laughs> I have to say something here. So he like kind of waddles up to us. He's like shorter, fat guy, you know, and he, he goes, he looks at us. He goes, what are you going to do? <laughs> this is like, <laughs> uh, like two days after, after we watched our mom die. And it's just like, <laughs> you're just like, I, I don't know, man, I guess. I guess, what are you going to do? I don't you know what, what are you going to do, do, man? And he just is like, he just looks at us and he's like, and then he just kind of turns his plate and walks back into the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing he said to us the entire time. <laughs> oh my God. It's so perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Stereotype is accurate, essentially. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. It was like so funny that you were like, uh, "That's what Tony Soprano says," and I thought you were like joking, and then I was like, "Oh, that's cool. that's so great." <laughs> somebody, I hope somebody in the in the listeners can confirm this for me, but I seem to have a memory where it just after it happened a couple of times. Having I watched it like a year ago or something for the first time, so it's fresh in my mind, and uh, you know. I just feel like I, I just would, it would just pop out to me. I'm like, he said it again. Like he just, somebody's dead. You know, what are you going to do? Like, you know, I'm like, what? <laughs> who says that when somebody dies? I Dude, guess. It's a thing. Apparently I, I can confirm in my own family, you know, what are you going to do? do? What are you going to do? We're going to eat gonna these do? mushrooms and, uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to fucking do. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got the Brazil right here for you. Hey, uh, man, brother. Yeah. There you go. I, uh, I just saw that the 25th anniversary of The Sopranos is like. This oh, yes, year. that's true. I did see that. That's pretty crazy. I still have not seen it. I've, I've seen episodes seen it. of it yeah. oh and I have God. not watched it all the way through. And I feel like I'm like I would I, by all my friends like shame me all the time. But having yeah. not seen it because they've all seen it. They all love it. They know I love it. It's even set in New Jersey, for fuck's sake. It's a great show. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I didn't watch it for, you know, like I said, I think I watched it a year ago. I think I got through the first season and like kind of like had to, I couldn't, you know, it, it didn't hook me in. But then like, you know, we get to those 
dry spells where Lee and I are like, what are we going to watch? I'm like, we need to finish the Sopranos. And like, man, it really hooked me. It's just, okay. Yeah, it's good. So it was, gotta, I've heard, gotta... I've heard it called like the best. Uh, I, I, I have people who I respect the opinion of have said, have called it the best TV show ever made. Would you, do you, would you put it in like, a, yeah, it's definitely the way best, up, there. Like, up there in the conversation? Yeah, I mean, and it influenced TV in such a way. I mean, premiere TV, you know, was not a thing like it was after like, The oh, Sopranos. Like prestige then, TV, like that, like yeah. The, sorry, what I what did I say? Premiere prestige. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, prestige. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just you know, the, like like TV shows that were on the level of, of a movie. You know, they had the production and the budget for a, like a feature film. You know, they kind of made that happen. But I mean, it also influenced so much shit that that I like. You know, like. I've talked about Twin Peaks and I feel like Sopranos is in there as well. Like they have, you don't really like when you first start watching it, you wouldn't suspect it, but they have all these like dream sequences and weird things like subconscious Mm. things. That's cool. I like that that a lot. Yeah. Like you, you know, you don't really expect it at face value. You take it, Oh, this is a show about the mob. But then like anybody knows about Tony Soprano knows the show is about way more than just him being in the mafia. You know, it's, it's like about all his internal, you know, psychological struggle with it and what it means for his Mm. life. And the way they did that, the way they filmed that is really interesting. And it, and it carried through so much television, you know, I guess for the past 25 years now. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's up there as one of the best TV shows. And, uh, I mean, I don't know why I couldn't, I don't know why I didn't watch it for so long. I think it, it comes from a different time of, of, of TV. Like, I think when you watch it, you'll be like, wow, this is like, they don't do this kind of show anymore really like i mean there's so there's so much racism and like sex oh yeah just like just blatantly on the surface and um and and you can tell it it runs deeper than just like oh well this was written into the characters because that's you know that's how these people would have been you can also kind of just you very much how they are read the times of when this was made as well and you're like yeah i'm pretty sure a lot of these people like I don't want to call out any of the actors or actresses or anything, but like, you know, some of these guys are really old actors on the show and you're like, yeah, they probably, they, that's probably not far off from how they actually feel. And the thing is like, if it's not actually how they feel like personally, they definitely know people and grew up with people that they can channel. Very yeah. It's easily. hard. It's hard to sum it up in a way that I don't want to accuse somebody of being a yeah, racist yeah, yeah. Or misogynist, which I mean, everybody has that in them to some degree. You have to like actively n- try not to be. But I mean, you can just kind of tell like it's just like it's really cool. They're it's really cool it. to see these people in these shows like they they went all out for for the casting and the, 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 the environment, the sets and everything. I mean, yeah, it's, I want to introduce you to my grandma that you would love <laughs> But wow, this is really authentic, man. Your grandmother <laughs> is telling is her so... that. Wow, you're authentically a racist Italian. This is <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> she has her hands in her pockets like that one Kevin meme. It's like, what can you do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna <laughs> do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess speaking of uh, uh, of television, I-, I saw this on the show notes, and I figured this would be a great setup. Ashley and Matt. You've watched something on Netflix called Down with Love. I try to guess: <laughs> is this a movie? Is this a reality show? I don't know. Fill us in. What it is-, is a dating show where cute babies, or people with Down syndrome, go on blind dates and try to find love. Oh, okay. Wow, that's not as nearly as terrible as I was uh, at first suspecting it would be. But I don't know. I can't read your expressions yet. Is it? Is <laughs> It's really cute, and I cried. It's actually so. It's it's genuinely really adorable, Mm -hmm. and actually, like at points, very funny. Like like uh, like legitimately, you know, guilt free funny. Okay, all right. His name was refreshing. His name was Brandon, right? Is is the oh Braden? Braden. Okay, so Braden. When you first meet Braden, it's just like, hey, what's important to you in a relationship, Braden? Braden's just like, I like sex want to have sex oh. and it's just no, like no, no. that wasn't that wasn't it wasn't brayden it was it was another guy oh, sorry i don't want to sully the name of brayden okay, i'm sorry i don't want to sully the name of brayden the one who was just like i would never cheat on my girlfriend right yeah that was the first thing he was just like i i just would like uh i just like my girlfriend i would never cheat on my girl like no like un un nobody prompted him to say this he just was like 
I'd never cheat on my girlfriend. I love my girlfriend. I just want a girlfriend. I like him. <laughs> it's really great. It's but like, wait, yeah, wait, wait, that's so he exactly. doesn't have a girlfriend. He's just hypothetically saying this, like as part he of. He had dating. just met the girl that he really liked. Mm-hmm. And, and the the two of them, like the, that, was actually the most adorable date because they both immediately, like, they hit it off about as as well as you could ever hit off with anybody. <laughs> That was the best first date I've ever seen anybody on. Wow! Just like walk up there. Hey, you want to play? Uh, do you? What, what are they? Or they? You want to play uh, mini golf? Well, yeah, I do. First, it was nice. Let's go play mini golf. First, it was nice they compliments like, where it was just like, "You look amazing." Oh my I god! I love your shoes. Their shoes are awesome. You look amazing. <laughs> and it's, it's just genuine, like hundred percent. Cutest thing it's ever. Great. It's what, such a great show. Uh, the dude, I know it wasn't Braden, but one of the the dude who said that he loved sex, like, he was in an interview later yeah, on yeah. because they were talking about like int- intimacy because he had found a partner and they, you know, wanted to like kind of like lay it out for them, like how that would, you know, happen, how sex could potentially happen between the two of them. And uh, he was just like, um, they asked, he was just like, so what do you, what do you think sex is? What is sex? He was just like, I don't know, cuddling, kissing, kissing with handstands. I don't know. <laughs> it was so that I burst out laughing. It was like kissing, handstand, kissing, <laughs> rubbing. That's what, <laughs> that's, what would, that's what he would. That's what he was looking instead forward kissing. to the most in the relationship. <laughs> Hell yeah! Handstand, I've kissing, never handstand kissed in my entire life. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I've really. I'm lacking imagination. Yeah, for Brayden, you. you will be surprised at how much that doesn't factor into sex. Yeah. You would be alarmed, <laughs> possibly. Yeah. So cute. Anyway, <laughs> highly recommend if you're looking for something adorable to watch. It was pretty funny and, and eye-opening, too, uh, because I felt like an asshole because I kept, uh, I kept really underestimating the abilities of the stuff that they were that they were doing there and i'd be like oh hey they can't they can't they can't go fishing no they can die that those two people were pr- totally fine doing a bunch of different things one of that, the dude speaks like four languages very, and writes poetry yeah, yeah the one guy straight up speaks like german spanish um english and I, it was another one too but i was like i was like oh man i, I speak english i'm a fucking moron smarter than <laughs> smarter than most of the men that i've dated and just honestly <laughs> This is like, but yeah, that show rules, and I cried a lot just because of how wholesome and adorable it was. Nice. Well, that's good to hear. That's a refreshing story. I mean, not necessarily. It's not a story, but it's a refreshing subject for the suck. It, it doesn't <laughs> suck, actually. Something that doesn't suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. You're welcome. Love that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I should have brought this up before. But maybe we needed a little a palate cleanser. But I did see this earlier in the week that. Speaking of the Sopranos earlier, that I guess Warner Brothers is taking every Sopranos episode and turning it into 25 second things on TikTok. <laughs> uh, so we don't have to watch it. I'm not I mean, sure why that's yeah, necessary. I can watch that. I'll just watch that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's done. <laughs> done. Finally, we'll get Matt to watch it. 25 seconds. Great time. show. <laughs> top, top five TV shows of all time. What I, what I have to figure out about this is uh, I didn't really I didn't look into it because the headline is so funny. It's just like, a, you know, it's just, I guess, easy to make fun of Zoomers for this one or something. But um, I'm just yeah. trying to figure out how is this formatted? Does this mean they, excuse me, are breaking up the episode into 25 seconds and then putting it on there or because they they took the episode and compressed it down into 25 seconds? That's what I don't know. I'm hoping it's the latter. Yeah, it is. I finally, yeah, I found it down here lower. It says here each episode is represented by a single 25 second edit. So, okay. What are you going to um, do? What are it's you just doing? him doing that over and over again. <laughs> Every, <yeah. laughs> Every death. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, I don't know. The uh, I, I just feel like that's... I mean, I guess why wouldn't they do that if they have IP that they can milk in this way? You know, why maybe it'll get people to watch the whole way. thing. Like if you're like, oh, I really like that. Those uh, that the six episodes I watched in a couple minutes. This is like the, the this is like compounding the David Lynch, uh, you know, like uh, conundrum where he just he d- hates for anyone to watch stuff on their phone. You know, he's like so mad, like. 
don't watch it on your phone. But now not only will we watch it on our phone, David Lynch, but we'll watch it in vertical, you know, nine sixteen aspect ratio. We'll watch in only twenty five seconds game on the other side while like someone <laughs> yeah, else yeah, is yeah. stitching things together on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Something run, monkey run. Yeah, monkey run. run. And the kid is playing an iPad while watching that and scrolling too. <laughs> Yeah, that, I mean, that's I the most say. terrifying shit to to watch. Like, and it, it, Phil, actually, I wanted to ask you, how do you like uh, deal with? Because I, I see these videos of the kids where they're like on a phone and then they're on an iPad and they're like playing a game and like look and like watching something and like going back and forth rapidly. You haven't seen this? I know sometimes it's like uh, it, it can be autistic stimming, but like sometimes yeah. it just seems like that's just like this person has a, has gotten into really bad habits. Like their brain is just like fucked up. I mean, I could definitely see that. I think being raised from an age where the screens were just always there. I mean, we had to take iPads away from my kids because, I mean, it's easy, especially when we only had one kid. It's easy to be like, oh, yeah, watch the iPad so I can do something. You know, I can cook dinner mm-hmm. and you're going to be so entertained or especially like a road trip here. Watch your iPad, play with your iPad. But like, you know, it got bad to where it was like, Goldie was supposed to take naps, but she didn't want to nap anymore. So we're like, okay, go in your room and play. Like you can watch your iPad or whatever, but Mm. man, like, Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to make this sound too bad, but there was a day where we let her stay watching the iPad. And when we finally go to get her up, cause she had stayed in her room too long, like longer than nap time. So I'm like, I guess I'll go get her up. Um, I go in there. She's still watching her iPad. She had, gone to the bathroom in oh, both no. ways in her oh, bed my God. as she was just sitting there and i'm like girl what is going on like just, just to continue her, watching the ipad yeah. you just pooped your pants like you just say you just that's that's a gamer <laughs> and anime the day. Game, man <laughs> yeah <laughs> the what it's like my computer chair <laughs> it's a gamer in the making <laughs> The gamer in the yeah. gamer yeah. moment for Goldie. Get her some Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're scary. You know, it's scary because it's funny. Like from the outside, to think that someone, especially one of, one of us, would do something on that level. You know, right. like I've been watching this speed run on Twitch for sixteen hours and I shit my pants and I, you know, <laughs> I haven't left this chair. But like, you feel bad for working. a child right. because like they don't know better that yeah, this yeah, device yeah. is like yeah. d- is basically evil. Like it will yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. your attention. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're you're shitting and pissing on yourself to stay. You know, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, and it's it's difficult to yeah. manage too because it's just like you're an adult. You've got shit to do. You've got stuff to take care of. So it is hard to like not just be like here's the iPad, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll make that mistake until you, in, until you, the last time you make mm-hmm. it and then you, you won't do it again. Like, I will one day let them have iPads again and I kind of feel bad they can't have them, but, you know, it's just like... Uh, I would worry about definitely, <clears throat> the long-lasting... The delicate things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's the all these things that exist are designed so predatory, so mal- maliciously oh, for yeah. your attention that, you know, to put it in someone's hands that young, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, mm-hmm. I was going to say before we started the conversation about kids, like I have to do so much shit on my computer I've, and then like so many people have so many monitors, you know, sometimes I'll be trying to do so much shit. I'll be, you know, I have like a staff meeting going where I'm supposed to be there, but there's absolutely nothing required from me participation yeah. wise. I'm just, I have to be there. So I have my microphone and my camera off and I'll be editing something else in the background. And then somebody will send me something to review. So it's like 30 people are talking in a staff meeting over here, a video edit is going over here. And then there's like another video I've just been dropped in my lap mm-hmm. to review. And I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Why am I listening to three different audio <laughs> feeds at the same time? <laughs> like this is insanity. Like, but who like, shit my this- pants? Why, why are my pants wet? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I have the same experience at work too. Like I'll, I have to, I have to, it got so bad. It actually got worse during the pandemic where I was like actively, like I would be in a call, I'd be working on something else. And then I, you know, sa- same thing, like having a conversation with somebody over a ping or something like that. And I just like, I had to be like, when I, I started noticing that, my brain had been conditioned to when I was in a call, I'd be like, what can I work on? So I wasn't really like present at these meetings. And some of these, you know, sometimes things would come up and then I'd be like, oh, well, we didn't discuss that. They'd be like, no, you were on the call. Like, remember we talked about this and I'd be like, what? Like, oh my God, I need to like pay attention to like, but I now whenever I have have calls, I have to, I'd be like, I'm not, we're, stop working on this. I'm not working on this right now. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I'll be like, I'll just do a little bit of this. And then, you know, 
<laughs> it's terrible, man. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't imagine if my brain was like still developing and like seeing this and like having these, having access to this kind of stuff all the time. Not, not only access, but immense pressure to, to, to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna definitely, I'll let the kids test out this 25 second Sopranos, see how that goes. <laughs> you know, if they can handle that. Oh, maybe. just loves it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna do? She is, gonna do? She, you walk in, she shit herself. What yeah, are you gonna I, do, Dad? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Goldie? Yeah, it happened. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the media. Ugh, it's rough. It's rough out here. Well, didn't uh, didn't uh, was it Fa- or Meta? I was gonna say Facebook, but Meta. They they got like there was like a study done by I can't remember exactly, but it was like the EU or some some government funded thing, and they had like a they uh, said that Meta had too much incentive to make addicting games for minors and not games, but like just make their products as addicting and um, and uh, like to uh, to absorb as much attention of their uh, as possible for these young people that they there there's too much incentive like there that's basically their entire business model is like how much attention they can get. So there's so it's baked into like being a social media company, right? And it's just so weird to me because it's just like that, like, of course, like a layman just knows that, right? Like, that's yeah. their, like, that's, ca- like, that's part of capitalism, right? You're just, you have a particular thing that you're going to be doing and you need to maximize that market. You need to get as much of the market as possible and become a monopoly. And that includes human attention. I don't know. Just <laughs> fucking nuts. Man. Yeah, it's like built into the design of all technology at this point. You know, capitalism has driven the way that (laughs) software exists, period. It's like, how do we be annoying as possible? Like the little red, you know, dot that's on any app that you'll allow it to be. What are they called? Dark psychology or whatever? It's like just like the the whole like tricking your brain and like manipulating your monkey brain to like do what you want it to do. Yeah, that's my job. (laughs) Digital marketing, <laughs> we, we do like lots of, we're doing tests right now with button colors just to see how much people get more excited about one color over the other. So it works. It does. Yeah. It really does That's work. For me, why I don't, I can't have any notifications on anything. That little red <laughs> me number, too. Will, I would, I will have to get rid of it. I have to clear it, you know? Yep. And I love that one meme that goes around that it's like your bank will be like, we have a message for you. And then you have to like do like two factor authentication to get into your bank and go to your inbox. And it's like, we are your bank. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, like the red dot and everything. And I mean, I kind of embellish the meme, but I mean, if you've seen it, it's. No, but I know exactly. Like I I use Chase and that's what that's, they do that shit all the time where it's like, you need to go to your secure messages and see what we put in. I'm like, oh, my fucking bank needs to be like, I have to go look at that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh, it's just like, hey, you equal, hey, just in case you start a small business, do you use us. <laughs> fuck you, man. Why'd you make me like log into this fucking fuck you? Go I thought there was some problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is this secure? Just send me a regular <laughs> email. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody today, or not today, this week, um, Steely Dan's significant other jade posting about how their workplace is requiring three fa um which just <sighs> blew my mind because my job i mean basically being a, a technology company and the security always being at the top of any conversation it's company policy everything has two fa you know with the mm-hmm. with the authenticator you know they don't even like you to do the sms messaging because that people can sim jack you and all this weird shit to get your messages and so to me, I'm like three FA. Like, what even is what? What do you do to to satisfy three factors? Like, what are they? Like, touch tips or something? Like, <laughs> you have to give I blood. power with your bro to like log into your. I don't the know. Nipple scan. Like seriously though, what is the third factor? If I'm already Probably using an authenticator, bio. I'm gonna assume like face scan or something. Really? Probably. God, yeah. why? I mean, it just reminds me of like when I I actually posted this on LinkedIn, but nobody, thank God, I hope nobody uses LinkedIn. I don't think they do, but I'm like, the the, the escalating FA, MFA is like, 
reminds me of when we had the razors that just kept getting more and more razors. <laughs> it's, like, you know, the, it's got seven razors. I think five, I need like two. That's fine. We're yeah. up to 12 blades now. Not The hair doesn't stand a fucking chance. <laughs> the first layer of your skin is off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now we just like keep adding more and more layers of 12 FA. You know, like how do you, you know, like you have to stand there and get each fingerprint ve- verified. And then, you know. They have to give you a caulking examination. <laughs> just so sign into your phone. You have to you still look at your bank secure messages. Full <laughs> nude body skin, you know, matching your moles. Like, oh, wait, this one, it's got a little, it's a little irregular. <laughs> like, you're, you're good to log in, but you should talk to your dermatologist. The edges on that one. Looking a little. Great balls, little, though. Uh, incredible balls. Killer balls. <laughs> Starting to hang a little lower this year. <laughs> I know it was a nightmare rolling out MFA, like just the regular two step. You know, because I work in, in IT and it's like, yeah, oof, man, some people really struggle with that shit. It's like crazy. Oh, yeah, it's it's not that hard, but it's like, it's my personal you know, health. Some, oh, my God. You have it's no so idea. necessary, though, because listen to this. <laughs> I, I logged into, of all things, CD Baby tonight, which wow. is CD oh, Baby is a music it. distribution. It used to be if you wanted to press CDs of your music, but nobody does that anymore. So now all they do is. You put music on there to go to Spotify and Apple, yeah. iTunes, all that shit. And they made me do two-factor authentication. They didn't even ask me about it. It was just, you know, they had my phone number or my email, so you had to do it. <clears throat> <Yeah>. And <laughs> compare that, CD Baby, mandated 2FA, to 23andMe, who has recently just been massively breached because... <laughs> Uh, essentially it's very funny they turned it around on their users and they said your passwords are so shitty that's why our database got hacked is because Uh, (laughs) wow yes yeah it's your fault you had shitty passwords but i mean it's a it's a database of people's genetic information (laughs) like don't you think that would be the one that would have 2fa like yeah instead of oh my god baby like Like, sure, you hacked my shitty password, but now, before you let somebody get to my DNA genome, could you maybe send me a, a text message or something? Like, nah. <laughs> yeah. They don't oh, if you no. if, if you uh, if you're prone to being a light sleeper or not. It's dangerous <laughs> shit. I mean, How much I, I think what made it worse you? is apparently they got access not only to the people's you know g- their genetic data, but also the their family's genetic genetic if it was yeah, in there as fucked. well. So. It's just shitty. It's like you don't want that to be public. You don't want that to be stolen. I mean, maybe there's nothing sensitive in there, but who knows? The subject line says, what can you do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? 23 and me. <laughs> Official response to the breach. What are you going to do? You what shitty are you gonna passwords do? suck. <laughs> what are you going to do? I wish Tony Soprano was in charge of my... Uh, security, <laughs> you know, policies that it well, was like, on, I'm sorry, that's what I just realized that's on the company too, because you should require like an exclamation point or a number. Yeah, yes, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I, I shouldn't be able to just like type sex as a password and have that be. <laughs> well, that's so I figured company. it out again how they do it. <laughs> Yeah, password one two three four. Mm-hmm. That should not be acceptable for your <laughs> genome website, especially because that's like such a that's such a boomer website too. Yeah, like, they're absolutely. gonna have the shittiest passwords, dude. Come on. Hmm. Well, before we wrap up, just for the mainline listeners, we got to touch on this. Speaking of boomer websites, Mark Zuckerberg, oh my God. he's always he's always treating us with little moments from his own life on his website, Facebook. <laughs> this week, he decided to post. Several things. One was he posted about uh, what was it like dirt, dirt biking or something. Him and his homies had like the goggle marks where the, you know, the, the dirt got on their face, but not on their eyes. Cause mm-hmm. they had their, but then he also posted about his fucking beef farm where he wants to raise the, <laughs> the, the greatest beef on the planet where they're fed macadamia with all beef. macadamia nut uh, yep. feed and, and given beer, all of this, which is grown on the same, uh, acreage. The beer is also I can't remember vertical integrated. It's locally uh, and vertically integrated. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I saw this post so many times. So many people shared it. Ironically, I mean, I wonder. I wonder what that's like to be somebody that would post something. You're proud. Of, he's got to be proud of this, right? I mean, he. I. 
I think he posted a hundred percent. Like I, this so is what I'm doing in my life say, as a super billionaire. I've been thinking about it. And then this. everyone shares it ironically, yeah. you know, like fuck. This it's guy. like super tone deaf. Like he have, he has to know that, or does he just not, does he really think that this is like a cool thing that he's doing or. I think he, yeah, I think he like genuinely a, is. Yeah. It's like a weird flex for him. I don't know. I mean, I, it, it, people are like, wow, that's like extremely irresponsible. Like, uh, yeah. you know, um, food wise and wastefulness you know like, matt, like, matt was saying macadamia nuts too or the they're the mm-hmm. most water they need the most water out of you know and it's just, yeah they're like a very expensive crop to like maintain and grow mm-hmm. and stuff and i did look it up that apparently it it, it does where on, on that island it does get a, a lot of rain but regardless i mean it's just how 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 like how to, out of touch are you where you're like, you're feeding these special cows, like, uh, you know, expensive crops exclusively so that you can eat them. It's just Massaging. like, so it, it, it's so disgusting. Like given the state of like uh, the things happening in the world mm-hmm. and it's just like it posting it on social bunker. media, like yeah. totally. <laughs> I think it's cause they're, they're just so removed from, you know, they're only talking to people that are either are they're in their echelon mm-hmm. or people that yeah. are like, actively sucking them off so that they can get a piece of the pie and mm-hmm. and be have a proximity to that wealth and power so it's just like i think you just lose it entirely like it doesn't even consider that like hey all this money that i'm spending on fucking uh, making these in, uh, super cows uh i could you know a- end the homelessness in several cities I, I just like it's so it's disgusting to me it's like so oh man it's so repulsive and like yeah. the fact that they like make themselves seem like they're good people they present it like this, like, yeah, hey, look what I'm doing. I'm just a normal person. I'm I'm feeding uh, uh, feeding cows uh, only macadamia nuts, and I'm making beer for cows. My daughters are <laughs> helping the cows eat the meal, and they brush them, and I love my family and my super cow farm. And uh, fucking Hawaii, yeah. I'm teaching them how to use a in January. You need to stop feeding the cows beer. We're not drinking this month. Yeah, fucking yeah. pregnant. Okay. Very right. disrespectful. <laughs> like that guy yeah bizarre bizarre behavior i also did you notice his uh coasters on top of his uh yeah, his yeah. trust glass issues glass of water for some Which reason good i thought that was just like there's a flies around i have no idea i really i really don't know why he was doing oh. that i yeah i thought he was afraid he was gonna get you know like roofied or something his wife just roofies they, they have a weird kink thing where they roof each other <laughs> this is a prank game they play back and forth <laughs> <laughs> he goes live on GHB. I mean, he's just like that high profile that somebody just like <laughs> so you know, just Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg to take to take advantage of him. Well, just you know, just just kidding. Got a bug man yeah. fetish. <laughs> the cows are gonna I get their revenge. <laughs> Viper is this Viper is doing it? Put him in the garage. <laughs> I'm sorry. If only. <laughs> Well, there are some developments in the story about Viper, which we touched on last week. If the listeners... Y'all cow- it, cowards go. don't even grow your own steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all cowards don't even feed your cows uh, beer. Macadamia macadamia nuts. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, we got to cut it off for here. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. If you like the show, go check out the bonus episodes on Spotify or our Patreon. Mm-hmm. And join us in the Suck Shame posting or our Discord where we, you know, Post a lot of weird shit. Change your passwords. Tour Russies. Change your passwords. Change your passwords. <laughs> 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 right. Bye. See you next time. Later. Bye.